Hello, this is Dr. Mears, and today we are going to learn how to solve quadratic inequalities. A couple of notes first. Inequalities use the following symbols, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. So we're going to be switching from the equal sign to these symbols. Also, inequalities put conditions on our solutions, and we're going to, that's what we're going to take a look at today. So we have these two examples right here, and we can solve it any way we want. When I see this type of inequality, we have a less than symbol, um, and I have to solve because it's quadratic, I usually look at the A value. This A value is one, so I'm gonna try to use the factoring method with this. And in the factoring method, remember, we have to find a number that adds to negative six and multiplies to eight. Now, if you haven't watched my other video on how to factor, you may go back and do so. Um, the two factors here that add to negative 6 are negative 4 and negative 2, and they also multiply to give us positive 8. So I'm going to set that up, x minus 4 and x minus 2 less than 0. Now here's where we're going to use a zero product property to separate these, x minus 4 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0. Now I know I set it equal, I use the equals to sign, and that's okay, because I am trying to find what my intercepts are. So if I add four and I add two, I'm gonna get x equals four and x equals two. That means the graph crosses the x-axis at four, zero, and two, zero. Now we have to go back because we have to take care of this inequality symbol. It's gonna put restrictions on our graph, um, our solutions. So. Let's go back and let's press y equals. Now I actually have all four in here. So the first one is this one, x squared minus 6x plus 8. I'm going to press zoom 6 just for a standard graph. Now when I pick this graph up, hopefully it's going to go. Did I press the, I did not press the enter symbol. Okay, remember pressing the enter gets that black box. Okay, and graph. So we now see the graph. It does cross here at two and it does cross here at four. Um, I'm not sure if, there we go, a little bit better there. So I'm going to sketch that graph out so we can see what we do next. X, Y, one, negative one negative one, one, two, three, four, five. So, and we see that it crossed from here and it went all the way up. Okay, that is a sloppy drawing, I apologize. Um, so what we really need, and I'm actually gonna erase this a little bit. There we go, okay. So here it crosses at two, zero, and here it crosses at four, zero. And so we can only look at part of this graph, and that is deemed by this symbol here, the less than. What this is saying is I can only look at the y values, here's positive one, here's negative one, that are less than or lower than zero. Um, that's this part right here is actually our y. y equals, right? Instead of putting y equals, it's zero equals. So y has to be less than zero. So if I'm looking at this graph, this part of the graph right here, that's the only part that I can look at between two and four is this lower piece right here. So we have to write this out. So what we're going to do is we are going to put two is less than x, which is less than four. And so because we can only look at the graph between two and four, this is, we write this inequality out. So here's your hint. If everything is on the left side of the inequality symbol, so all of the x values, all of your terms are on the left side, if this symbol is less than, you're always gonna be writing the inequality out just like this. So if all terms are on left side and you have a less than or a less than or equals to, you're going to put the low number is less than or less than or equals to x, which is less than the higher number. Okay. That, that's how you're always going to write it out. If all the terms are on the left side and you have this, these symbols, this one or this one, that's how you're going to write it out, just like we did. So what happens if we have a greater than? What's the greater than or greater than or equals to going to look like? So let's look at this one right here. Now, looking at this one, all the terms are on the left side. We have an inequality symbol of greater than or equal to. 
I'm noticing that my a here is not one, it's a two. Once I see that, once I see two x squared, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the quadratic formula. This is a one, this is a, this is b, this is c, and I'm gonna substitute it in. I'm not gonna have to worry about factoring. Let's just do the quadratic formula because that a value um, is two. So I have the opposite of b, negative one. Remember, be careful of your parentheses. Again, I also have a video on the quadratic formula b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. So x equals, with a little bit of simplification, this is positive 1, plus or minus the square root. This is positive 1. This is positive 16, and I just did it in my calculator over 4. So I have x equals 1 plus the square root of 17 over 4, and I have x equals 1 minus the square root of 17 over 4. I got the 17 by just combining the 16 and the 1. 16 plus 1 is 17. And then I separated them out because there are going to be two x-intercepts here. So let's see what this looks like, and then let's see what part of the graph I'm looking at here. So in sketching it out, hopefully it won't be as messy as last time. Okay. Getting your graphing calculator out, I'm going to go back to y equals unselect the first one. Here's the one I'm looking at now, the second one. I'm not sure why this isn't focused very good on it. And then I'll press graph. Here's my graph, and I will just sketch that out for you right here. So it looked like this. There we go. Okay. So where's my first x-intercept? My first x-intercept is here. This is going to be x equals 1 minus the square root of 17 over 4. And over here, this is going to be x equals 1 plus the square root of 17 over 4. So those are my intercepts. Now, greater than, let's look at this symbol. Remember, this whole side is my y, and I'm saying I can only look at the part, the y value, that's going to be greater than 0. So I can only look at the part going up. So I can only look at this part, and I can only look at that part. Now notice, this one only had one circle. It was less than. This one, I have two circles I can look at. I can look at this one, or I can look at this circle. Here, this was an and problem. I needed to look between two and four. It's an and problem. This one, it's an or problem. I can look at this side or I can look at this side. So how do we write that out? Okay, first you take your lower value, the one that's gonna be on the left. And this one's gonna be X is less than, and that's an equals to sign, less than or equals to because it's on the lower side, one minus the square root of 17 over four. Oops, over four then we're actually going to write the word or. Or we can look at x is greater than or equals to 1 plus the square root of 17 over 4. So we can look at the less than 1, the less than 1, or we can look at the greater than 1. So the less than 1 is the one that's going to be the lower one, the one on the left. The right side is going to be the greater than 1. Hopefully this helps. So it's just the difference between those symbols. So two circles, it's an or. One circle, it's an and. One circle, it's an and problem. Two circles, it's an or problem. All right, let's try this. But you know what? Let's try this with the graphing calculator. And let me see if I can focus a little bit better on here for you. Okay, here we go, much better. Okay, so we're gonna use our graphing calculator, but first we have to do these two things. One, make sure everything is moved over to the left side. That's first. Then we're gonna use our graphing calculator. I put some of the steps to remind you, I will go through this with you relatively quickly. So first let's get everything from the right side to the left side. So here, this is a positive seven X, so that's minus seven X. So I'm at two X squared minus seven X is greater than, greater than negative four. Let's bring that four over. It's a negative, so I'm gonna add it. So I'm at two X squared minus seven X is plus four is greater than zero. Okay, 
Now that we moved everything over, that's checked. Let's use our graphing calculator and turn it on. I am going to go back to my y equals. I am going to unselect and select this one. So now we're at 2x squared minus 7x plus 4. I'm going to press graph. Here's my graph. And if you notice, again, I'm not sure why it's not focusing in. Um, it's not going through any specific points. So here's my graph. And it kind of looks like this. Actually, it's not a really good graph. Yes, my gel pens erase everybody. But my graphing is not on par today. And it kind of looks like that. Much better. X and Y. Okay, so here's the thing. I have two X intercepts. Here's the first one. That's number one. Here's the second one. So we are going to use these steps. We're going to press second and then we're going to press trace. And we're going to go to the zero. Remember, zeros are X intercepts. They're just called zeros instead of X intercepts. Now I have two here. So this left bound, it says left bound down here. I'm going to choose this one first, everybody, this one right here. So when it says left bound, I need to put the blinky dot somewhere over on the left side of that point. And I like where it's chosen, so I'm going to press enter. Now it says right bound. Remember, I'm still looking at this one. So when it says right bound, I'm going to put it on the right side. So I'm going to go below it just a little bit. So see how it's on the right side of that X intercept that I'm looking for. I'm going to press enter. It asked me if I want to take a guess and yes. And my zero is at 0 0.1791. All right, here's the thing. Go to three significant figures. So three points after the decimal. So I have 0.719. So X equals 0.719. Okay, let's find the next one. So now I'm looking at this one right here, everybody, this second one. And it's going to ask me, I'm going to go second trace and then zero, go to the left side. So when I'm looking at this one right here, I'm going to put the little blinky dot on the left side. So that's a terrible L on the left side. So I'm press enter. Then again, I'm looking at this one right here and it's going to say, how about the right bound? So I'm going to move over to the right side. That looks good. Take a guess. I get 2.7807. Three significant figures, one significant figure, two significant figure, three significant figures. So now I have where those two are. So let's figure out how to write the answer. Remember, these are inequalities. So let's look at this symbol right here, or even right here. Because remember, this side is the Y value. I'm not going to go back to here. This is the Y side. So Y is greater than, greater than. So where is greater than? So greater than is looking up, right? So we have greater than or, or greater than. So we write these, all right? This is the lower one. That's the lower one. So X is less than 0.719. The reason why I didn't put the little equal sign underneath is because this doesn't have one. The original doesn't have a little equal sign. So I don't put the little equal sign. This is the greater than one. This is the one on the left. So this is gonna be X is greater than 2.78. And I'm gonna throw the word or in. So I can either look at X is less than 0.719, this circle, or I can look at X is greater than this side of the circle, 2.78. And that's because we had this greater than symbol. Okay. And let's try the last one. If you want to try it on your own, um, the first thing that we have to do, so we did that, is move everything over. So us is going to be 3x squared minus 7x. This is a positive 2, so over here it's going to be a negative 2x. This is a negative 2, so over here it's going to be positive 2. Less than or equals to and 0. Let's combine our like terms. These two look alike. 3x squared minus 9x plus 2, negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9, is less than or equal to 0. Going through and finding our x-intercepts, I'm going to unselect this and select this one. So now we're on that fourth one. We're going to be graphing it. We're going to be doing the second trace. Left bound, yes. Right bound, yes. And take a guess. I get 0.2 four, one, six, nine, three. I'm going to be doing three significant figures. So I'm at 0.242. Two. 
Yep, 2, 4, 1, 6. So I round that to 2, 4, 2. And then I'm going to get my other one. I'm not going to do it on the calculator. You can try it out. It's going to be 2.76. Those are my significant figures. I'm going to sketch this out. It kind of looks like that. Perfect. So here's my first x-intercept. Here's my second. So this one is my 0.242. That one is my 2.76. Let's figure out how are we going to write this? What are we going to do? So we go back. Here's my y is less than. So when we do less than, we have to look lower. We have to look down. Down is less than. So that means it's going to be between. We can only look up between. So this is an and problem. How do we write that out? We put the lower number first, lower number. We go back less than or equals to. This has a line, so I'm going to write the line x, which is less than or equal to 2.76, which is your higher number. And that's how you write it out. So you really have to go back to the inequality symbol to see if it's going to be an and problem or to see if it's going to be an or problem and then figuring out how to write those inequality symbols. This has been Solving Quadratics, Inequalities. Hope it helped.